Hey guys, it's Jana, and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So today I have a really cool tip that I'm gonna share with you, um, and it's in regards to direct light. So if you're in a situation where you wanna shoot a couple, or you have details that you need to shoot at a wedding, and you're in direct light, the first option that you would hopefully have is to get out of the direct light and find shade. But if that's not an option, and you need to control your light a little bit more, then I have an awesome tip for you. And it's a scrim. So what a scrim is, is it's a light diffuser. And what this does is it gives the appearance of a gloomy day. So today is Wednesday and it's noon and it's hot as heck out here and it's totally direct sun, but we're shooting this here with this beautiful background because we have this diffuser. Um, so what you do with this diffuser is you place it between your subject and the sun and it's going to, like I said, give that appearance of a more gloomy day and um, make your images a little prettier. Um, as you can see, I'm not using an assistant that's holding it. I've got this um, stand that's holding it. We're gonna share that information with you and what brand it is. And you can't see this, but I'm using my camera bag as a sandbag. This doesn't really belong here, but we didn't have a sandbag today. So Tim let me borrow her, what's this called, Tim? It's like a dolly. A dolly. She let me borrow her dolly to kind of hold it up. If you don't want to use one of these and you do have an assistant, that's even better and quicker. I, I use this for couples. I use it for single portraits and I've used it on details for weddings this year and it saved my rear end. So I want to show you also how, I want to tell you also how you can uh, do a homemade scrim, which can be like sheets or just pieces of material, anything that will diffuse the light. This isn't going to block the sun completely because I don't want to be like, I don't want to have no sun coming through. So what I'm going to do now is take a photo of, um, or Tim's going to take a photo of me under the scrim, and then I'm going to step out of the scrim so you'll see the difference. Okay, that was embarrassing. That was the worst picture of me in the world. But I wanted to show you the difference of like what this little scrim can do for your photography. Uh, but anyway, I thought this tip was amazing, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, keep shooting. Stay inspired. Check out the blog, jennafromalabama.com. Join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let's stay connected. Bye.